In this lab we're going to be looking at race conditions and this is one of my favorite web app exploits because it's kind of fun when you can get like a much higher discount compared to what you should normally be able to on a client website and it's super fun to kind of see their reactions when you do manage to pull this off successfully. So in this lab there is a leather jacket that you need to purchase and you get a 20% discount which you need to stack to get a, a much higher discount. So I think you have like $50 in credit, but the jacket is over a thousand. And so you need to stack that 20% discount multiple times until you can get it to the right value. Just before we jump into this lab, I wanted to just do a quick code example which demos how this vulnerability actually works before giving you the practical solution. So we've got a coupon system here which has uh, a save 50 coupon defined so you get $50 off and in this function the apply coupon will first of all check to see whether that coupon exists and then if it does then it will go through to the next part which is step two where the race condition exists and what it will do is check whether that coupon has already been used but there will be a little bit of time in between that function so that could be like a network delay or like a database operation and during that time is when you can send through multiple of the same requests which will essentially go unchecked to see whether the coupon has already been used. So hopefully that should be clear. Let's dive in to the practical. Okay, so let's start by viewing the details of the leather jacket. We can then add it to our cart, browse to the cart, and we have a promo 20 where we can get 20% off uh, at the checkout. So this, we can just try that now. Just using the website normally, we get 20%. Uh, now what I'd normally do is try and see if I can get 40 or 60 because the promo 20 is quite predictable. So if I was testing a client's e-commerce site and they had something like this, then I'd be trying to see if I can get a further discount. But in this case, we are looking into race conditions. So let's apply our promo 20 again. And what I want to do is intercept that with burp. So I'm going to turn on my interceptor and click apply to promo 20. And then we want to just add this request to our repeater and I'm just going to drop that request just so it doesn't get confused and now that we're in a repeater what I like to do is create a group so I can then right click and then add that tab to a group let's call it race condition now that tab is part of a group, I want to duplicate that tab. So we just go duplicate tab. Let's say do it 20 times. Now we've got 20 or 21 total requests, 20 additional, which are exactly the same as this one. And to perform the race condition, we need to send these in parallel, not in sequence because chances are it probably won't work so we want at least amount of time difference in between the checks click send but click the arrow and I want to send them in parallel and then we can just click send the group in parallel we get a 302 and the coupons been applied so let's just see if that works by going back to um, our web application and let's go to the cart and you can see that 
the promo has been applied multiple times and the jacket has come down from 1337 to just $24.07. If you've got the Pro Edition of Burt, then there's a slightly easier way to do this just through the custom actions functionality. So the process up until repeater is pretty much the same. So we'll just add this to our cart and click on the cart and then add the promo. And I just want to intercept that first. So I'll turn intercept on, same as before. Click apply and then send that post request to repeater. Drop the request. And then from here, we previously created a whole bunch of tabs on the community version, but in the pro version, you can just use some of their templates. So if we go new from templates and then uh, look for the race condition function, here we are. And then click create using this template and it's going to send that 20 times and we can just click test you get an, a bunch of 302s which signifies that it did work but let's go and check by having a look at our cart and it looks like actually it's it has applied it a number of times not as many times as 20 though because the total should be far less than that but that's just the way with race conditions. So let me try and just send that same request again and we'll see if it works this time. Okay, so exactly the same thing. Let's go back and then refresh the cart. And there you can see it actually worked this time. So uh, if it doesn't work exactly as intended the first time and you get more reductions than you intended still, try running it again and then hopefully it should work. But yeah, as you can see, the total price has gone down to $15.40. So click place order and that should solve the lab.